Corey, my father does not go around knifing people. Corey, it'll be okay, no matter what happens. Kip's right, Corey. But what if they're just horrible to each other? Well, then you and I will go curl up someplace till it's over. Remember the deal we made? Yeah. They're them, and we're us. Look, who knows? There may be no problem. Your fathers may fool us all and get along famously. Ta-da! <laughs> Still seeing the glass half full, aren't you, Jess? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this, is, is this a great old broad old what? <laughs> one? <laughs> I don't know. It's just the thought of someone coming up behind him with a knife. I know. Stuff like that doesn't happen to people you know, people you're related to. They're different from us, Kip. I mean, not just older, but from another place. Another place? What I'm saying is, maybe we aren't in a position to know how they might react to old hurts. Your dad's so emotional, so sort of theatrical. And, uh, <clears throat> and yours isn't. Corey, my father does not go around knifing people. How can you be so sure? Because... Uh, because I happen to have known him for a couple of years, that's why. Yeah, well, in case you've forgotten, he hasn't exactly got the world's greatest alibi. Yeah, well, I'll tell you something. My father doesn't care enough about your... You hear us? Look, Corey, we weren't there when it happened. We don't know. It's, it's going to be whatever it is, but... We can't let that be our problem. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hold it, guys, hold it. Thank you, thank you very much. Good evening and welcome to our show. We've got a wonderful program for you, but uh, before we get underway with our regular show, uh, I got a little introduction I want to make. I want you to make them feel welcome, okay? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'd uh, like you to meet him right now. A uh, very uh, old friend of mine. His name is, uh, what's his name? Let's make him feel at home, Mr. Murray Gruen. <laughs> Welcome. Stand over here, Murray. Why? Well, you know, because you talk like this. If I stood there and you're talking here, I couldn't hear you there. <laughs> About that, they remembered, huh? Yep. And you owe me three million bucks. Well, so long, folks. No, 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 no. You stay here. I never thought I'd really see it. Of course I'm here. No, you're not. I can prove it. Prove it. All right. Are you in Philadelphia? No, I'm not. You will be back in time for Kip and Corey's wedding, won't you, Norma? Well, I'll try, but you never know. I might just get lucky and meet Mr. Wright on the Champs Elysees. You're not the Pittsburgh. If you're not there, you got to be someplace else, right? If you're someplace else, you can't be here. Right. Let's go, folks. Well, actually, I am here. And Matt, I gotta be here in this town. You see, I met this... I met this broad here in this town, and... She kind of expects me... to take her on a honeymoon. 